Have you ever stopped to think about how amazing your body is? I mean, every single day, countless processes are happening inside you, keeping you alive and kicking. We rarely think about these things, but they are happening nonetheless. It's a bit like having a bustling city operating within your own skin. This incredible feat is achieved by a collection of systems working together. We call these body systems. Each system has a specific job, but they all rely on each other. They are interconnected in a complex and fascinating web of activity. Think of it like a team of expert jugglers, each tossing different objects in the air, yet somehow managing to keep everything going smoothly. That's your body, so let's embark on a journey to explore these remarkable systems and understand how they work together to keep us going. Get ready to be amazed by the wonder that is the human body. First up, we have the cardiovascular system, often referred to as the circulatory system. This system is like the body's very own postal service. It's responsible for delivering essential packages to every cell in your body. And what are these packages? Oxygen and nutrients, of course. The heart, a powerful pump, is the star of this system. It tirelessly circulates blood throughout the body through a vast network of blood vessels. Imagine these blood vessels as a system of highways and roads, ensuring every corner of the body receives its vital supplies. But the cardiovascular system doesn't just deliver the good stuff, it also helps remove waste products. Think of it as the body's garbage collection service, efficiently picking up carbon dioxide and other metabolic byproducts and transporting them to the appropriate organs for disposal. Without this efficient delivery and waste removal system, our cells wouldn't stand a chance. Now let's take a deep breath and delve into the respiratory system. This system is all about taking in the breath of life, oxygen, and expelling carbon dioxide, the waste product of energy production. The respiratory system's key players are the lungs, two spongy organs nestled within our chest. As we inhale, oxygen fills tiny air sacs in the lungs, called alveoli. From there, oxygen leaps into the bloodstream, hitching a ride with red blood cells to be delivered throughout the body. As the body uses oxygen and produces carbon dioxide, the process reverses. Carbon dioxide moves from the blood into the alveoli and is expelled from the body when we exhale. It's a remarkable gas exchange that happens with every breath we take, ensuring our cells have the oxygen they need to function. Of course, no engine can run on empty, and that includes the human body. That's where the digestive system comes in. This system is like a masterful chef, taking the food we eat and breaking it down into smaller, more manageable pieces that our bodies can actually use. The journey begins in the mouth, where teeth initiate the breakdown process. Food then travels down the esophagus, a muscular tube, and lands in the stomach, where acids and enzymes get to work, breaking it down further. The small intestine is the next stop, where nutrients are absorbed into the bloodstream, ready to be delivered to all the body cells. Finally, the leftover waste products make their way through the large intestine and are eventually eliminated from the body. It's a complex process, but essential for providing our bodies with the energy they need to thrive. Alright, so, imagine a complex control center constantly monitoring and regulating everything happening within the body. That's the role of the nervous system. You know, this remarkable communication network that uses electrical impulses to transmit information at, well, lightning speed. The brain, which is like the command center of the nervous system, receives information from all over the body through this vast intricate network of nerves. It processes this information and, um, sends out instructions, ensuring that everything runs smoothly. But hey, the nervous system isn't just about thinking or processing information, no. It also controls our senses, letting us experience the world around us through sight, smell, taste, touch, and hearing. Honestly, without the nervous system, our bodies would be, well, like ships without captains, drifting aimlessly without any direction. Muscles in motion, the muscular system. From the moment we wake up to the time we lay our heads down to rest, our muscles are constantly at work. The muscular system is responsible for every movement we make, from the blink of an eye to a marathon run. There are different types of muscles in our body, each with a specific job. Skeletal muscles attached to bones allow us to move our limbs and maintain posture. 
Smooth muscles found in organs like the stomach and intestines control involuntary movements like digestion. And then there's the heart, a specialized muscle working tirelessly to keep the blood pumping. Without the muscular system, we wouldn't be able to walk, talk, or even breathe. It's the engine that drives our every move. The body's defense force, the immune system. We encounter harmful bacteria, viruses, and other invaders every single day. Fortunately, we have a dedicated defense force working tirelessly to protect us, the immune system. This complex network of cells and tissues acts like a microscopic army, identifying and neutralizing threats before they can cause harm. White blood cells are the soldiers of this army, patrolling the body and attacking invaders. The immune system also has a remarkable memory. Once it encounters a specific threat, it remembers it, making it easier to fight off the same threat in the future. This is the principle behind vaccines, which introduce weakened versions of viruses to train the immune system for future encounters. Without a doubt, the immune system is a crucial ally, keeping us healthy and resilient in a world full of potential dangers. Teamwork makes the dream work, how systems connect. By now, it's clear that our bodies are not just a collection of individual parts, but rather a symphony of interconnected systems. Each system plays a vital role, but their true strength lies in their collaboration. Consider the respiratory and circulatory systems. The respiratory system brings in oxygen, but it's the circulatory system that delivers this oxygen to every cell in the body. Similarly, the digestive system breaks down food into nutrients, but it's the circulatory system that acts as the delivery service, transporting these nutrients throughout the body. The nervous system acts as the conductor, coordinating and regulating the activities of all the other systems. It's like a master communicator, ensuring everyone is on the same page and working together harmoniously. This intricate web of interconnectedness is what allows us to function as one cohesive unit. Curious questions, clear answers. What happens when one system fails? Well, when one system fails, it can impact other systems and potentially lead to a domino effect. For example, heart failure can affect the circulatory system's ability to deliver oxygen, impacting all other organs and their functions. Our bodies are incredibly resilient, but it's crucial to address any health issues promptly to prevent widespread problems. Why is integration between systems important? Integration between systems ensures that all necessary functions are carried out efficiently and effectively. Imagine a factory where different departments work in isolation. Chaos would ensue. Our bodies are the same way. Integration allows for seamless communication and coordination, ensuring everything runs smoothly for optimal health and well-being.